रिस्पेक्टेड स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सी टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द पावर बी आई रेज्यूमे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माई पर्सनल रेज्यूमे विच आई हैव अपलोड ऑन नोकरी डॉट कॉम एंड विच आई एम सेंडिंग टू एच आर विया लिंकड इन और ई मेल्स ओके सो सी इफ यूर देर आर नाइंटी पर्सेंट रेज्यूमे विच गेट्स रिजेक्टेड एंड यू विल नो द रीजन वाई इट गेट्स रिजेक्टेड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वॉट ऑल थिंग शुड बी देर इन योर everything i am going to show you like certification skills summary professional synopsis work experience projects achievements my education qualification current learning this you might have seen first time personal information and declaration everything we are going to discuss in this video okay so now let's start the video see the first thing in your power bi resume should be like your proper name your designation in the first section your proper name designation okay your location your email id and your mobile number and even linkedin okay these are the compulsory things photo is optional whatever your portfolio of github or novi pro is also optional but if you are a fresher then you should definitely go and even if you are experienced you can upload or insert that link also and here i have like uh, created my own data set from kaggle and those are star schema so i want to show that to the leads or directors of bi who are going to take my interview so i have uploaded that so which part is compulsory your name okay your designation your current location your email id and your mobile number and linkedin is also compulsory okay first thing now coming to the second thing certification part see i am having 7 to 8 certification that's the reason why i will highlighted here and even five times i have conquered tl 300 exam that's the reason why i have uploaded that here but a uh, uh, proper resume first will have the skills and then uh, certifications can be in between also but purposely i have highlighted uh, highlighted that at the first part so whatever my certifications are there like pl 300 is the most reliable related to the power bi so that i have written first and five times i have uh, given that exam that also i have highlighted and other all certifications i have highlighted writing all the proper names like power platform fundamental because sometimes if anyone is taking your interview and he doesn't know about pl 100 what is pl 100 so he can check like power platform app maker so it is related to power apps okay the third part which i have highlighted is skills and in this skills you can see that i have uh, mentioned all my bi tools all my database all my ticketing tools agile tools and apart from anything like apart from power bi if i know business analysis requirement gathering or qa work everything i have mentioned you can see here like see power bi sql data modeling is also the one of the most important concept that data warehousing concept snowflake click sense i know in azure azure data bricks i know azure data factory azure devops server i know m language is one of the most important language in power bi where you can do many magical things with it that i have mentioned power apps i have used power automate paginated reports everything ssra sisense bi is one more tool you can see power bi dataset is also one of the most important datasets with live connection fabric is the new emerging technology that i have mentioned even i can do all the qa work in the business analyst report a business intelligence report okay so even the requirement gathering everything i have mentioned here okay so let me highlight one thing like if you want 100% job with power bi they definitely subscribe our channel in last 3 years around 1000 students have got job from our channel uh, directly or indirectly and even let me highlight one thing 2 years ago also i have uh, made one video how to make resume for power bi sql with same format this my personal resume is there you can also watch that video in description i will highlight that video also and this video uh, sorry this resume i have created with flowcv.com f l o w c v.com that will that also i will mention in the video description okay so you can create from there also and one thing more you can i want to highlight is that see this is the format the name of my resume vinayak underscore kadam underscore power bi this should be the for a name of your resume file that in pdf format and that should be there on nokri.com okay let's say if your name is virat kohli then virat underscore kohli underscore power bi whatever your first name last name underscore power bi it should be there now coming to the next point of summary see uh, proper summary few people write paragraph of 6 lines 7 lines that is also fine that is also correct not an issue 
but see i have written in simple like my total experience my tools my languages which i have used environment like dev uat prod i have used whatever project domains i have used like finance business logistics fmcg everything clients i have handled are indian international project management tools uh, you can see i have mentioned okay this uh, two times it has happened okay then connectivity modes uh, whatever i have used like import direct query live connection that i have mentioned and was involved directly in requirement gathering to report creation to deployment process so when this line is the most powerful line let me tell you as a power bi developer consultant whatever you are hiring when you are writing that was involved was directly involved in requirement gathering to report creation to deployment process it means end to end i have done work okay so that's the best thing and one more thing i am highlighting is that microsoft certified atx once again the next part is like about uh, professional synopsis uh, so see this is the optional part but i like to mention that in my resume professional synopsis because when you are writing professional synopsis the project details which are there that you can write short in two three lines also see you can see my project details are very in two three lines short because most of the things i have uh, mentioned in professional synopsis so whatever points like report performance uh help by 70% okay like this 70% we have right project sow statement of work msa whatever is then got signed due to early delivery timings okay so uh we have done phase 1 very good that phase 2 got signed earlier only report efficiency by 30% deliver 100% task with agreed budget yeah that's the very main point like whatever the budget was decide like let's say 20000 dollar so in that only we have uh, created Uh, we have uh, developed all our report so like this 100% 30% or whatever your million billion numbers which are there those are confidential actually that you should not mention but that if you are okay with that or your company or client is okay with that you can mention that like market value we achieved was 200 millions whatever it is okay then realignment of work subscription requirement gathering so these are the chdlc okay then you can see created data flow lake house disconnected table data validation these are all the important keywords i am using parameters see develop tabular and other data models see calculation group summarize table you can see whatever the keywords are there those are the most important see concurrent user this is the most important keyword when it comes to direct query power bi dashboard not a single uh, keyword is like um, you can say irrelevant here all the keywords are very important here okay so like this in professional synopsis i have written properly this is my personal resume okay let me tell you one thing like see you can see from my work experience also in last 6.57 years i have switched three times let me tell you i have never checked the ats score or i am not personally interested in that ats score uh, okay and i never uh, change my resume for any particular company to apply i have created this standard resume this and this only resume i am sending everywhere let me tell you okay and uh, properly this only resume i am sending everywhere and i don't personally much believe in ats score also and uh, also with this resume also i have got more than 500 plus 600 700 views also okay let me highlight this point and daily even two three calls also so now coming to work experience see work experience i have used only five lines here i never take half of page to uh, show the work experience like working this is my current company which i have Uh, not mention so when i joined i was a senior software engineer now last year i got promoted to the bi lead architect so whatever designation that time i got that only uh, i have mention here or even i can write bi lead architect also afterwards i will change so from this uh, duration then worked in this company as software engineer from jan 2023 to june 2024 whatever duration which are there and designation you can write like internal and here see this is the most important thing this first time you might have seen like here i have written notice period immediate joiner this is the most important thing because on this immediate joiner keyword only see my many friends are hr and even staff augmentation company recruitment company i know how they work those are of my friends only so they always uh, extract the keywords on immediate joiner and if you are writing immediate joiner in resume itself not nokri profile then it is definitely helpful okay so like this you can also mention coming to next point like in project c x uh, i have uh, highlighted this confidential information of project and client 
so duration domain even data source also you can write here okay whatever your data source sql snowflake the reason why i have not mentioned here because in skills only i have written all the database like sql is there power bi data set is there you can see azure databricks i have written snowflake microsoft fabric my current project is of microsoft fabric that is also evolving technology so like this uh, name of the project client everything and client you can hide but name of the project duration domain a little bit of disc uh, description like which reports agency performance marketing analytics claim management reports i have created okay in simple four lines only i have written why i have written project detail in four line because many of the thing i have mentioned in professional synopsis if you don't want to uh, build this professional synopsis column that is optional then you have to write project details in proper detail like seven eight points not this three four points then second project and this is the third one project okay duration and everything like this 445 calendar is used in fmcg okay so if malaysia client singapore is there and if they will uh, search on this 445 calendar then my resume will go first okay then you even see direct query if they want they my resume will go first and if you will see in this three projects what is the unique thing like the first project domain is insurance the another one is fmcg and the last one is finance okay if you are mentioning three different project then the all the three projects should be of three different domains don't mention all finance project only all insurance project only okay or different domains must be there now little bit of achievement trainings like uh, i have written off my youtube our youtube channel also like whatever i have contributed and even build ai tool which is there you can see that uh, we have created indian paradise ai tool so that also i have mentioned even we have built the star schema data sets which are there okay our team has built that also i have mentioned even uh, due to us company has got the projects also like rfp submission which is there request for proposal which we can say tenders of the company okay that also i have mentioned and see here you can see like thousand students has been placed that's the reason i am telling if you are looking as a power bi developer definitely then you should subscribe or as a data analyst also you can subscribe our channel and press bell icon then here education qualifications i have mentioned and current learning this is the most important thing this first time you might be seeing current learning so what is my current learning what is vinay doing currently so yeah he is learning advanced data engineering concepts okay gni data security semantic model optimization machine learning is learning so even that uh, manager who is taking my interview or director who is taking uh, ceo of company he should see that it's not that vinay is only mentioning everything about past okay what currently he is doing and what in future he is going to do that it should look like yeah vinay is trying his best to learn or even grow his, himself okay this is the best thing why we should mention current learning or even current certifications if you are preparing you can write like preparing for uh, xyz certification then personal information my pers uh, full name date of birth then languages known location and now you might uh, say that what is the driving license so see when you are looking abroad uh, job also this is helpful in abroad job like in dubai us everywhere they ask for driving license where you, whether you are having so you can even see this uh, okay uh, you can mention this driving license coming to hobbies you can write your personal hobbies and then at the end declaration let me tell you uh, from our nokri call which is there nokri resume optimization review call i have seen that 70% of candidate don't write this declaration part this is the most important thing because in us and uk this format is used about declaration i here by declare that above information is correct only one line you can write and vinayak kadam whatever your name is there okay you have to mention because the, this is the format followed in us uk and many international companies okay so this was all about today's video okay so i have shown my personal resume you can see this video properly with uh, 1.25x or even 0.75x everything properly i have mentioned even this video link i will give in the uh, description box even our nokri playlist i will give flowcv.com playlist also i will give okay now at the end i just want to highlight one thing which are the compulsory part i will tell you see the designation name okay linkedin is compulsory certification is also compulsory and can be at the middle of the page also i just want to highlight this five times so i have taken that up then in skills also properly it is mentioned don't write that 
uh, I am good in English and all those things because see, I have seen that in skills people are writing uh, many things. Only mention technical skills which are there. When you are experienced, for freshers they can mention. Summary you have to write, professional synopsis is optional. Work experience, project details are very important as a data analyst. Let me highlight duration, data source, domain and description. This is very important. Okay. And coming to last part is like um, you are uh, so education qualification you have to write properly okay so if you are ha having any doubt in this video comment at the below and within one hour i will reply you okay and uh, thanks for watching till end and if you are new on our channel make sure to subscribe and press, press bell icon for all upcoming videos thank you everyone